Hey, how's it going? So I'm um, just going to run through some uh, a quick how-to on the mobile, the mobile editor on Wix. Um, so I've been remodeling my own website and uh, added a few new strips, some services, uh, buttons, uh, links to how-to videos, uh, forms, uh, some basic pricing, just to kind of uh, showcase some of the things that we're getting into. And uh, we can go here into the mobile editor. See that some of the things look pretty sharp. Looks like it's supposed to look. Uh, and then you've got this here, which looks pretty choppy and full of spaces. It's pretty common when you go into the mobile editor after you make changes, you're going to see stuff like this happen. So we'll go through this section here that looks like it needs to be edited and uh, just kind of go through it. So first thing you notice, there's a huge space. The icons are all cut up and the text does not look correct. Um, let's just run through how to do that real quick. So. Give us an option here for deleting space. Let's go ahead and delete that space. Let's take this text bar. Let's move it out. And uh, it's, about to, it's about the width that I want it. Center it using the lines. If you don't see these lines here, go into tools. And then uh, it's going to be snapped to uh, objects and grid lines. Would be the two things that you want to have on. Make it easy to align. Double click into the images that look, you know, kind of choppy. And uh, let's see. This here. Perfect. Make sure you hit the check mark to apply that you've resized it. And now we can make it the correct size. Something that'll look right. And there we go. It's slightly bigger. Kind of fills the space. Uh, for it to really do what I want it to do here, I kind of want it to be about a little larger than this. So now that I've kind of figured out how large I do want the object, I'm going to need to recrop it so that it looks right with everything else. So I'll double click in here again. I'll give us the crop option. And now I got something that we can really more work with. Go ahead and apply that. We're going to want to do that with. Um, everything that didn't come out right. So, do it again here. You're going to want to save as you go. So, like after I'm done formatting this, I'm going to save. Uh, you don't want to do a lot of work and lose it. Wix will automatically save a lot of the time, but I think it's smart to try to save your work as you go. I've gone to situations myself where I've uh, done a bunch of work on a project and then had to restart because I didn't save and something happened on my computer or I walked away and you know, maybe something happened that I wasn't expecting. And now it's, it's about similar in size as the Wix logo. I will see some of this stuff might change. Wix and Google are both pretty good about allowing you to put your logos on the site. Um, you know, there is some stipulations on them. For the most part, they're pretty cool about it. So that's why I chose that logo to go with. All right, so font 16. So I'll make that the same all the way across or all the way down, I guess you would say. So that everything's kind of uniform. Go. Okay. 
down nice and center. And this is actually supposed to uh, show the Mix uh, mobile app icon from the phone. So once you do decide to uh, get a Wix site, I highly advise quickly getting familiar with the mobile app. That's what's going to help tie the website um, into being something that can be used more as a tool than just a website. Like uh, you know, websites, to some extent, uh, in the past, really business cards online, they were just something that kind of showed your business. Right now, no matter what your business is, you can have an extension of your business online, uh, whether it's a brick and mortar store, you know, a straight service agency, uh, whatever it is. This is now almost can be used as, you know, like a location in a sense. Another place for you to you know, uh, collect payments, deal with customers, uh, answer customer concerns, close deals. Uh, you name it. You really, it's all up to you about how much you want to put into it. I'm trying to do a little bit of everything on this site, especially because it's going to be used to showcase um, everything that you can do on Wix. So there we go. Now that looks good. I might play around with it a little bit more as far as getting like the design perfect. I want to make this slightly larger, so we're going to grab this small tool here to extend this part of the column. Just give a little bit of space underneath that button. There we go. That looks much cleaner than it did a second ago. So thanks for watching. If this helps, uh, which I hope it does. Please uh, you know, like the video, comment if you have any questions, or feel free to go on the site and comment. I'll leave any questions for us here. I definitely would help you out. I'm all about trying to help other people uh, who are trying to get this kind of stuff going. I uh, had to learn a lot of this on my own. I'd love to save you guys a lot of the time that it took me. So please like and uh, any questions that you have, you answered for your site. Um, I'd love to make a video on it for you. Go. Thank you so much for watching.